we're looking, we're, we're focused on building energy solutions that are multifunctional, that could be used both to address development needs or um, relief needs or commercial needs. And so uh, I was asked to talk a little bit about the process we went through in designing the product. Our main product is called the Ready Set Solar Charger. And in that process, we chose to work with four different partners in the whole design process. Tell, tell us what Ready Set uh, does first. Okay, uh, the Ready Set is a 15 watt uh, plug and play solar system. It's a battery that has uh, software. This is kind of what makes us unique in this field. This, we've developed software to help protect the battery from common um, problems with energy solutions in rural Africa, like short circuiting, deep discharge. Um, in any case, it's, it's, we studied the common problems with other solar systems, developed software to protect the battery from that, which helps reduce the need for too much behavior change. Um, and then we, we tried to bring the cost down as low as possible. So typical solutions of this size cost about $500, and we brought ours down to $150 US dollars so that it could be more affordable for our target population. Is that helpful? Absolutely, yeah. And actually, some applications I could explain are many people use it as a, a phone charging business to generate income. And for farmers, this can help smooth their income throughout the year. You can make about 40 to 50 US dollars a month, which is pretty significant income for our target population. This is what also helps uh, microfinance banks want to finance this over other solar solutions. So that income generation does help, I think, build resilience in some areas uh, of our target market. Uh, also, it's been used in relief situations for power in IDP camps in Uganda all the way to uh, the Japan after their natural disaster and then most recently in the US with Hurricane Sandy. So by having a broader market, this also helps us build a better commercial um, business behind distributing this in, in East Africa as well. And um, just on, just one extra thing is that in our first, on the data collection point, how we use data to drive uh, the, the product, the final product design, we actually embedded SIM technology into the first pilot devices, the first 100 devices, and we were able to see live where people were using this and also uh, through the software we developed, we were able to know exactly what they were doing with it, exactly how they were charging it and what they were charging with it which helped us design to make the final design um, really based on what the customers actually use it on, not what they said they would use it on, which is always difficult to, to kind of interpret. But um, so I find that using the SIM technology and hardware could be a great way for people to get real data because we all know using surveys and asking people what they think they would do is not very reliable. That's fantastic. Could you talk a little bit more about like the steps that you guys went through? I guess this is the question you're trying to answer when I interrupted you. But like, um, you know, did you go to the field first? Um, did you? I think you guys have talked a little bit about using uh, gramming to to survey um, uh, the population first. If you could talk a little bit about the process you went through. This may be something you guys want to take into account, either bringing innovators along when you survey, um, maybe existing low cost ways to get more data. Uh, those are. Yeah, uh, Phoenix, I think one of the unique things, that the, the actual Ready Set idea came out of a request from Google and Grameen. Google and Grameen were working on using the IDEOS phone to, uh, collect, uh, to collect agricultural data from customers and then provide them with agricultural advice. It's called the Community Knowledge Worker Program here in Uganda, if anyone's interested in that. Uh, and when they introduced smartphones, the biggest challenge to making this work on the ground was that there was no power for the smartphones. The IDEOS ate through power very quickly um, when using data. And so uh, our CEO uh, had done work with Google and IDEOS and the, the Stanford D School. And so they asked uh, us to develop a power solution for the IDEOS. And so we worked with Google, Grameen, um, as well as two other partners, the World Food Program and MTN. And we decided to to introduce these extra partners just to ensure that we were building a device that be, could be used by both you know, someone like Google who wants to sell a, a product, someone like Grameen who's trying to provide a software solution over mobile phones, 